guys, and welcome to your next video of how to code in HTML, Zero to Hero. So, now that we've got our website set up, uh, well, it's not there, it's in, uh, here. Now that we've got our website set up and we have it open, now we're going to start coding. So, inside your Notepad++, or whatever code editor you're editing in, just write in these HTML. Now everything in HTML has tags, so and tags are always inside these two, uh, sort of pointy brackets. So first of all, HTML, every time you write a tag, you have to close it with one of them and then slash, you have to close the head. Like that. I mean, not head, HTML, sorry. Now, always read a few spaces, write HTML. Actually, no. Tab out. No, not head. Right head. Right slash head. Right body. Right slash body. Here. And side head, tab open, and right title. And the side title, I, I'll, I'll write a uh, Tutorial website. Okay, but before we run that, let's go and check on the browser. Now up here, that's its title. C uses Robert Westbury because we haven't changed that. But now, when we save it, using Control S, go back into the browser, click Reload, Tutorial website up there. Cool. Now, let's get something on the actual page, because right now we've just changed up there. Let's get stuff down there. So, inside the body, to start off with, let's put H1. That stands for hello one. That's big text. Let's put hello world. Save it. Go back into your web browser. Click reload. And there you go. Hello world. Nice. And I can do this with H2. Goes down to H6. Hi. And etc. I'll just do H6. Wow. Uh, a 5. There you go. So H1, H2, H6. Now let's do P. The P tag. The P tag stands for paragraph. So... I'll just put, hello, I am writing a paragraph, it has made the font size, has made the font size a good size. Now put Close the P tag, save it, go back, F5, now, hello, I'm writing a paragraph. Uh, it has made, sorry, I have a cough, it has made the font size a good size, D. Okay, now let's do some, uh, uh, let's do, what shall we do now? Let's, um, think, what, was it, what shall we do? Let's do some, uh, hmm, uh, images. Okay, let's get an image of, I don't know, let's get an image of, I don't know, let's get an image of, uh, uh Donald Trump. Yeah. Let's get an image of Donald Trump. Well, there he is. Right click on the image, save. Oh, wow. No, not copy image URL. Actually, we could copy image URL, actually. Right click, copy image URL. Now, inside this, put img src equals. Wow, okay. That. Actually, no, not actually, no, let's not do it that way. Uh, we're just going to write, right click, save in the jazz. Let's save it in tutorial website. Let's save it as IMG. 
to go into here equals img.jpg then close then slash img now what that will do is if we go into here to our website reload the page yay pixel of Donald Trump awesome <laughs> okay yeah uh, uh, yep, now let's add an alt. An alt is if for some reason the, it can't load in, if for some reason the, the image can't load in, alt is what it'll say. So if I put alt equals, now let's put, uh, pick of Donald Trump. Save it. Oh, here. Now it won't make any immediate effect, but if this can some reason not load in, it will say pick of Donald Trump. Okay. Um. Okay, let's do tables now. Tables are really cool things. Uh, different than what we did inside our, our Roblox tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be UL. Wow. Uh, close the UL. Uh, and then let's put uh, TD. Let's put hi. TD. Hopefully this works. I, I don't think it, it might work. Wait, uh, reload. Hi, yeah, and then let's then put a uh, TD. Wow, I am making a table. TD, save it. Go back into uh, here. Clear mode. Oh, okay. I don't think let's not do tables. Uh, okay, guys, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!